You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. I never get tired of staring at it. Eternity. A thought occurs. Can anyone ever truly experience reality outside oneself? All of time and space filters through a singular perspective. I am as much you as you are part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? Fair. I wonder what your decision will be then. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you, that something that makes you unique amongst the infinite, will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever, even as you leave it behind. Unknowingly, you just answered your own questions. For who creates things but creators? That is what they have been named throughout the endless circle of time. Are they one or many? Human or alien? Terrestrial or celestial? One day, you might even meet the creators. But not this day. As for the why, so that you could ask that very question. So that you could stand before me for time immemorial and delve into the mysteries of the unending cosmos. Much like the death of a star creating new kinds of matter, so will part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light, and you will become starborn. Everything will vanish and you will awaken somewhere else. But, that isn't your only potential destiny. You could turn around, walk away from the unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your ship, in your universe. You could live out the life you have. I've enjoyed speaking to you once again, all of you. Every version that is here in the Unity right now. Go out into the stars. As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving, as the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time. Although you leave this universe behind, a new universe awaits you. Who will you be in this world? What choices will you make?
Just hold still while we do the contraband. 
check. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. I wonder if I'll miss New Atlantis when Tony and I leave. Oh, hi there. I'm doing great. Glad to hear it. Yeah, life is... I've been trying to save up enough money so that I can go explore the settled systems with my boyfriend, Tony. I think we're finally getting close. Really? Well, I guess... I really love my job, but it's hard work. Really? That's so sweet. Take care of yourself. Excuse me, this is a private... Wait. Vasco, identify. Scanning. Cross-referencing known employee records of our affiliated. This appears to be the miner from Argos Extractors. Lost. I see. Vasco already delivered the artifact.
You're a... I see. So some... You're taking their word for it? What if this person's just delusional? Breathe in too many gases in that mining operation. Why don't we hear her out? We know next to nothing. We have everything to gain if she's telling the truth. All right. Let's hear it. So, that's what we're looking for. The pieces to an armillary. A path to the center of a multiverse. This is either the truth or the most elaborate practical joke I've ever witnessed. I think we're past the point of doubting, Walter. In any event, we'll be able to see for ourselves. We know where most of the artifacts are now, and presumably how we get them. And if what you've told us about the Starborn is to be believed, we'll need all the help we can get. I want you to check with Vladimir on the eye. Cross-reference what you've told us with what he's picking up on the scans. You track down the artifacts the eye finds, while we gather the others. I... I hope that other Sarah of yours knows you're safe. Now let's get those artifacts. I'm able to pick up from you are unprecedented. You really are something. Well, it is customary to say, welcome home. That is hello, Starborn. Captain, I will proceed. So, we have a Starborn in Constellation, and you knew all of us from the prior universe, even our secrets perhaps. It's a bit unsettling, honestly. Do you have any idea how insane that sounds? There is no first time for me. You mean your first time, with another Sarah. But you're not even... I mean, are you still human? How do I even know where to begin? So we play pretend, is that it? I guess with you it's only half pretending. Fine, but no tricks. I don't want you racing to the end of something you know I'm going to say. Equal footing, all right? Well, you're part of Constellation, aren't you? I don't know if the rules technically cover cross-universe members, but why not? Starborn or not, you're part of Constellation now. Yes, yes, absolutely. In many ways, your very existence is the greatest single discovery. to see you again. Can I get you something? Hey there. Always nice to see a new face. Huh. 
Nope, sorry. <laughs> Can't pull one over. Go ahead and make yourself come. Let me know if there's anything I can get you. Yep. Spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. I've got something in the works that'll change. You would love it, I guarantee. Only, I made a deal with Holler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient I... But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. Security got wind, and the whole lot was founded. Very clever of you. Your parents... And really? I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just... I need to get my hands on... I really do. It's gonna... Before we say any... I am in no way asking you to do anything that might... This is just one friend talking to another friend, asking if maybe that friend could... And if, hypothetically, you, uh... Surely you're not seriously considering this course of action. The law... Yeah, sure. Right. Okay. I, I can wait the 18 months until they release it. Probably. See you around. an ID of service, Captain. If it isn't the woman I'm supposed to know from another side, that was some meeting to listen in on. Starborn, are you? Anyone who doesn't charge into a room swinging is a friend in my... Tried crossing all the T's with the information you unloaded to Sarah and the others. I've got good news in bed. Good news is the eyes found what you're looking for. Bad news is they're not in the places you said they'd be. I'll need to take your word on that, Starborn. Here's the data. Manage to find a planet that might have one of those temples you talked about as well. Can probably find more temples if I have enough time to cross-reference. Come back when you've given the first one the thorough comb. I should be seeing heavens or... Oh. 